Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be using this triangle shaped geode mold to make some coasters. This black and silver set uh, was the very first set of coasters that I ever made with resin. And they got a little bit damaged on the underside and I really love them. So I'm going to remake another set. I'll be using Color Passions Onyx Pearl just paints seal which is a silver and then kino silver crazy flakes i'll also be using these square black glitter from color passion so i've mixed up about 10 ounces of crystal resin and i'm just going to be separating off two um, cups with about an ounce each in them one for the black onyx, or pardon me, the onyx pearl, and one for the seal. I think this mold takes about 12 ounces, but I like to leave a little room at the top to put down a heat layer, um, a clear top coat. Not only does it add some dimension to the coaster, but it, the heat layer um, gives a little extra protection for hot cups and that kind of thing. These are both mica powders and I like to give them a couple, a couple of stirs just to break up any clumps that might be in the mica and really incorporate that into the resin. So in the first set of the center points, I used, I believe I used glitter or maybe some, some silver flakes, but then I also used little tiny silver seed beads. And while it's a nice effect, they're kind of shimmery, um, this time I'm going, going to be using, adding the black square glitter for a little bit of contrast at the center there. I only used about a tablespoon or so for the silver flakes. You don't need a whole lot of resin for that. So I'm starting with the onyx pearl, putting down a thick line around the outer edge. This is such a nice color, it's a black shimmer. It has maybe a touch of gray in it. It's not completely black, but it is one of my favorite black micas to use. This is the seal from Just Paint. Another thick line just on the inside of that black. And then I flood the center with clear resin. There's maybe about seven or eight ounces there. So this mold is just about full at this point. But I'm hoping that the resin will shrink down a little bit and leave me enough room to do a top coat while it's still in the mold. I'm lazy, I prefer to do it that way. <laughs> I have to take them out, put a, a protection barrier on the back and flood coat them that way. Because you, know, you have to make sure that they're level and that your resin doesn't kind of make the top of the coaster unlevel. So I prefer to just level my mold and do it all within the mold but it doesn't always work out that way. Using my heat gun just to pop some, start, pop, start popping some bubbles. And I have a little bit of the onyx pearl and the seal left over, so I just grab a keychain mold and pour the rest into, into the mold, using it up. 
I have several keychain molds just at hand to use up any leftovers and I can't tell you how many keychains I <laughs> have laying around that are in various stages of completion. I have some that are ready but they need the hardware. I have some that need a little bit of sanding. I add vinyl to a lot of them with little sayings or little um, images. So yeah, that's a project. My keychains are a project all on their own. So I'm just taking my craft stick and making some swirls, swirling the onyx pearl and the seal together. That's what I did in the original set of coasters. And I, I liked the way it looked. It was kind of feathery looking. And you can see that that seal actually, some of it actually floats to the top, um, creating kind of a, um, a metallic look on the top, which is really pretty. So I'm hoping that that happens again with this set as well. And just adding the silver crazy flakes. So when I made that first set of coasters, I thought that I really got lucky because they turned out so pretty and I was really happy with the way they looked. And that was probably a year and a half ago, two years ago that I made those, that I first made started working with resin. And I've really come to learn that resin is really hard to make it look ugly, especially if you're using additives like mica and glitter and foils and that kind of thing. I mean, it just, all of it works so well together and it's so fun and really quite easy to do. Um, some techniques obviously are harder and more in depth, but I'm not doing anything overly crazy with this set. You know, I poured down a couple of rings of different colored resins, swirled them together and added, added some sparkly stuff in the center. And it's really not that hard. So if you, if you're new to resin or have never worked with resin before and you want to take it from me, I am not the most skilled person in the world but resin is fun and relatively easy to work with the biggest thing with working with resin is making sure that you have a good environment for it a level clean working area and that you use your um, ppe use um, a filtering mask and nitro gloves long sleeves is a good idea and you know just have fun with it read the instructions on your resin follow the instructions and you know watch a few videos and and give it a go that's my little pep talk for today so i'm going to start adding the square black glitter. Now the black glitter came in a bag and I was trying to transfer it into a container where it was a little more user friendly. In the process I spilt a bunch of black glitter on my table and then I wiped it into this just this plastic lid, container lid, and in the meantime, wiped up a bunch of other glitter that was on my table. So this black glitter was kind of mixed in with a bunch of other glitter. I didn't want to add that to my coasters. So I'm just using a silicone brush and picking up the black glitter piece by piece and dropping it onto the resin. So it's a little tedious and I'm sorry I should have sped this section up much more than I did. So uh, that's a good couple of minutes of watching me put this black glitter down, which I apologize for. But if you're watching this, then I just want to ask you, 
do you want to see me do another remake of something that I've made before and that I want to remake either with different colors or just remake the entire thing together? Or would you like me to provide my version of like the top five lessons that I've learned while doing resin? I've learned lots of lessons. I continue to learn lessons just about every time I work with it. Um, but there's some lessons that I find are quite valuable. And, you know, I could share those with you if you want to see, you know, want to hear my viewpoint. Let me think, let me know what you think in the comments, if there's something that you would like to see, or if there's something that you'd like to hear me share when it comes to resin lessons. I will certainly like to hear what your thoughts are. This square glitter is so cute. I, uh, I really like squares and hexagons and bigger pieces of, of glitter. And I think it adds a nice little visual with the the black on the outside and a little bit of black on the inside points there. The first set of coasters, I think I put them down, well, I know I put them down at some point on a surface that had a little bit of resin, like the part A resin or the part B hardener or something, because there's a kind of a gooey substance on the back of it. And I have tried to clean it with alcohol and you know, rub, 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 tried to get it off and it just wasn't coming off. So I thought I could um, just remake the set. What I could do is sand that off and then do a flood coat on it to, you know, clean that all up so that, it, you know, they would be all nice again, um, which I might do in the end. Uh, but the underside is not really all that pretty anyway, so they're kind of one-sided coasters. And, you know, at some point, it's just I have to cut my losses and just put them aside. So here they are ready to um, demold. Now, they were quite full, so there's not a lot of room at the top of these, at the top of the mold to do a flood coat, which is my preferred method, but... I filled it too full. So I'm going to demold them and add liquid latex to the underside to protect it from any drips. And then I'm going to set each one down on a little paper cup, make sure that they're as level as possible, and then do a flood coat of counterculture DIY art resin, which is... 500 degrees Fahrenheit, um, or good to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really good because I believe that crystal resin, while it's one of my favorite resins to work with, I think it's, I don't even think it's good to 300 degrees. So there's quite a difference. And if you're going to be actually using your coasters for coffee or tea or whatever, then it's kind of worth putting on that extra heat layer to make sure that they they stay nice i have used this mold probably a dozen times and it's just an inexpensive mold from amazon probably like maybe 15 20 dollars at the most and it's still in really good shape so i'm pretty happy with that these are looking really cute i really like the way they've turned out so far
So just like the first set, the underside is not really all that exciting. Uh, you know, some people might like it and that's great. I don't particularly care for it. They're not horrible. Um, I just don't know if I would use the, the other side at all. But they turned out pretty good. There's no major flaws or problems with the with the resin there I think my mold does have a little bit of a flaw in it so I always get that little wave under one quarter of the mold which I accept I don't think anything is ever completely perfect So here I have each piece on a little paper cup. I used my, I have a little level that I use and I just kind of make adjustments if I have to to try to get these coasters as level as possible. I don't want my resin to be warped on top or high on one end and low on the other. And I've just mixed up, I think, two ounces of the counterculture DIY art resin and I'm just using a silicone brush to push everything to the edge. I believe I pushed it right far to the edge and then when I use my heat, everything flows over the side and you know makes a nice round rounded edge on the coaster. If you wanted, you could be particularly careful and just push the resin to the edge and do a dome. I don't like doing that unless I absolutely have to. Sometimes I do it on my keychains um, so that I don't fill the hole where the key ring goes. But most of the time I just put the liquid latex on the back and let it flow over the edge and then peel off the latex and catch any, pull off any of the drips. So I have this silver leafing pen. I'm trying to remember what the brand is. Oh, I think it's a Krylon pen. Um, I like adding just a little bit of, of leafing at the top edge. And I usually just like it around the outer rim of these triangle pieces. But this time I'm going to go all the way around the triangle. This leafing is pretty easy to do. And I'm thinking that my pen's running out, which it shouldn't because this is a relatively new pen and I don't use them that often. So <laughs> chances of me running out very, very quickly is, is pretty slim. But it, I think it's just not showing up very well because of the, A, because of the silver or the seal mica and B, because of the clear, the clear portions of the resin. So I'm not overly happy with how this is going on along the straight edges. I think it's really pretty around the geode edges, but these straight edges, it's kind of not doing what I had hoped it would do. It shows up better from this angle than it did from where I was sitting. As I watch this video back, I think, eh, that doesn't actually look that bad. But from the angle I was sitting at as I was doing it, it didn't look that great. So some people go down the edge of the coaster all the way. I, I'm not a big fan of a lot of leafing. I like a, 
a really thin line and just along the top edge. I don't know why, but that's my preferred look. I think if they were double-sided coasters, I would do the entire side and then do the top edge of both sides. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. The good thing about leafing pens is you can always go back and add, add it if you want. Add more, add a second layer. Some people do this before they do their flood coat to seal in the pen, um, which is another option as well. So I'm going to, I don't like that silver line on the straight edges. I am going to um, take a shop towel piece and some alcohol and just wash that off. Just wipe that off. <coughs> Pardon me. comes off really easy with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And there they are. Here's the first set, my very first set of coasters ever. And compared to the remake. Thanks for joining. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like me to see, what you would like to see me do next. Have a great day. Bye.